here it's gets here again and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to teach you on how to zip and compress file in windows 10. so this method is similar to the other windows but in case somebody didn't know that no need to download other applications in compressing files so if you are one of them keep watching because i'm gonna teach you two methods to do it and later on i'll go i'm going to show you also how to compress photos pictures to reduce the size from uh, gigabyte to megabyte or mb to kb so that it so that you can able to send it in email but before that if you are new to this channel don't forget to like subscribe and click the notification bell so let's switch on to our desktop to start here four files that I want to compress into zipped file so that I can only send one file in email so to do it select or highlight select natin itong files or highlight and then right click and go to send send to compressed folder and that's it Okay, so you can see here now the compressed file. So let's rename it. Yan. Okay, so let's check the sizes for us to compare. Okay, for the uncompressed files. Dito sa properties, okay, we can see that it has 4.27 MB while the compressed file has only 3.57 MB. Okay, so you see the difference. Medyo bumaba dito sa compressed files. Okay, so that's another method. And let's go to the next uh, method in compressing files. I have here a folder. And on this method, I want to compress the pictures in this folder so i have here pictures okay so let's select again and let's go to the share here at the top on the menu bar okay share and just click zip you can see the zip file here okay so let's rename it again pictures yeah okay as simple as that and now instead of sending multiple files we can now send only single file in email that's it for compressing of files into zipped so let's go to the next Another method here is for the photos so that we can easily send them in email. As we know that only 20, only below 25 MB files can be sent on email. So what if you want to send pictures above 25 MB? So I have here an example of pictures that I want to compress and reduce the size. As you can see, it has 224 MB Okay, only for the 14 files. So, hindi talaga siya pwedeng masend sa email. So, let's copy this folder para uh, for us to keep the original. Okay, so copy and paste. Yan, so let's rename. Okay. Sample copy. Okay, open the folder. Wait, let's check the size. Okay, properties 
and here okay so they are the same uh, with the original files so let's open and then select or highlight again the pictures and then let's go to send to mail recipient okay and in here let's adjust the picture size into small 800 by 600 okay and then attach yan okay so dito huwag natin siyang i huwag nating i-okay ito or i-click itong x okay to close let's just go to the search bar here and then type this percent temp okay lalabas ito and then hanapin lang natin yung ating pictures ating mga pictures so yan na sila and then let's just select and copy okay so i-copy lang natin siya sa isang folder okay right click and copy and let's make another folder. Okay, let's rename. Resized pictures. Okay. And paste. Yan. Okay, so ito na yung na-resize nating pictures. So, pwede na nating i-close tong mga folder na to. And here, let's... Uh, check the size to compare with the original size and you can see he that it was reduced okay from these 14 files it's only have 1.52 mb and dito sa original here we go so from 224 mb Nagiging, naging 1.52 MB na lang siya. So, bumaba yung size niya at pwede na natin siyang isend sa email. Ganun lang siya kasimple, guys. Okay, that's it for today. And I hope na nakuha nyo yung mga steps natin in compressing files. Uh, uh, thank you for watching and see you on our next video.